Hello and God bless. Welcome to my YouTube live broadcasting. How is everybody? Can you hear me guys? Give me one if my sound is loud and clear. Welcome Phil Herrera. God bless you. Eva Ami, Peter the Wall, the Wall, the Wall, Thomas Matthew, Red Prophet. Marion Gran, Bruheim, Red Rose, Micah de Gia, Philip Light, Lasari, Lee Lynch, Roby, Andy Shannon, everybody, if I forgot to mention your name, bear with me, God bless you, nice to have you on board with us, don't forget to keep us in your prayers, we are putting our lives at stake, guys, also pray for our beloved admins, who are always doing an amazing job, Thank you for joining in. God bless you and your families. Guys, before we start, I want to ask you to smash that like button, subscribe, and also click on the notification bell to receive notifications when we upload videos or go live like today. <clears throat> today's topic, guys, today's topic is about the heroes of Islam, right? One day they say this, and the other day they say that, right? And every time they speak, we bust them with their taqiyya, lies, and deception. And we are here, our job is to show you the truth, and to expose liars and deceivers like Muhammad Hijab and this Ali Dawa. I think everybody by now have seen my yesterday's short video about Ali Dawa glorifying Jesus, right? So basically, we prove to you that Ali Dawa is out of Islam, because you cannot glorify Jesus as Lord and be a Muslim at the same time, because Christianity and the Holy Bible completely destroys and contradicts Islam, the Quran, and the fake prophet of Islam. All right, guys? You cannot have a cake and eat it too, because we are here, we are watching, we are guarding what you say. Right, Mr. Ali Dawa? Ali Dawa said, and I quote, We glorify Jesus more than you. And he was speaking like every Muslim, right? He was quoting all the Muslims. We, he said we. Right? Now, we had a couple of Muslims, guys. We had a couple of Muslims who actually started to comment in the comment section under our videos, right? And they said, no, no, no. To glorify means, to glorify means basically is, you know, to respect and it, you know, they are, use all kind of modern translation or meanings for the word of glorify. Today, guys, we're going to prove to you that's not what Islam teaches. When you say glorify, it means glorify. It does not mean respect. It does not mean we honor. No, no, no. Today, we're going to show you that the Muslims who are trying to defend their heroes, like this guy, like Mimi Hijab, you know, Muslims said times desperate times need desperate measures and don't forget how many times have we taught you muslims are always at war with us right and war is deception right act of war right war is deception so they are always at war with us there's they are always at war with the west so when they are going to debate you for them, that's war. It's the art of war. Exactly, Peter M. So, art of war is deception. Right? So, they are going to use taqiyya. They are going to use deception to defend their heroes who busted themselves. Here, in this video that we uploaded yesterday, and it was really a short video, you know, because unfortunately, many people, you know, they don't have the time or are too lazy to watch a two hour long video, right? So now and then, we have to uh, unfortunately upload small videos, right? 
And sorry to say, a lot of Christians are actually very lazy. I have to say it because that's the truth. Because if you are truly call yourself a Christian, at least do what you have to do. I'm not asking you to do like what I do or what Christian Prince does, right? But help me to help you. I mean, you can download a small video that's around two minutes, right? Cut a part out from a, our long videos, download them, cut them if you are too lazy to download a complete video and upload it, right? Cut a part that you like, help me to help you. If you can save one victim of Islam who are a Muslim, because they are nothing but victims. Don't forget, more than 90% no, more than 90% of the Muslims in the world do not know Arabic, right? So you have to help these victims who are nothing but victims of the man-made Arabic cult, right guys? So before we start guys, before we start, please pray with me in the no name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ so the Holy Spirit can guide us. Pray with me. Dear Lord, Please give me the courage and wisdom today to overcome lies and deception. Help me not to lean on my own understanding, but in everything acknowledge you, Lord, so that you can direct my words, thoughts, and actions. Lord, give us a measure of your strength so that we might not give in to discouragement, deception, and doubt. Please, Lord, please help us honor you in all our ways. Lord, thank you that when I'm weak, you are strong. Lord, the devil, in this case, Satan, who is in disguise nothing but Allah, he is scheming, he is conniving, he is using makr, deception, to keep us from you, Lord, to keep spending time with you, O oh, Holy Lord. My Lord, thank you for your grace. And thank you for the ultimate sacrifice of your beloved son. And through him, and only through him, we are saved. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit. Please loosen my tongue today, so I can speak without any shame or any error, but with wisdom and courage to do whatever needs to be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Guys, thank you for joining in. For the people who just joined in, welcome. God bless. Please share the link of today's live show. Share it online. Share it on social media. Because the truth must go out. And only the truth will prevail. So on this live broadcast, as we mentioned, guys, we will have the opportunity to expose the Islamic heroes. In this case today, Muhammad Hijab and further explain their ways, the Islamic hero, their ways of deception. So we will go deep in the meaning of the Arabic words, right? The Arabic words. And we are going to show that on the screen later to you. Last but not least, when I finish my teaching, guys, we will have a nice Q&A session with our guests in the live chat, like always. Hopefully, there will be also Muslims, maybe an Ustaz from Indonesia, or maybe an Arabic-speaking Imam who has the courage or the knowledge to call me live on Skype, right? My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. Maybe the admins can provide it in a text. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. Let us start our today's teaching, guys. Are you with me, guys? Are you still with me? Let me know if you're with me. Hopefully, you didn't fall asleep, right, guys? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let us start, guys, by saying the following. Wrestling fans, are you For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world from the capital city of the United States of America, Washington, D.C., ladies and gentlemen, 
Let's get ready to rumble! Guys, I really have to do this. Sorry. <laughs> I, ca I can't help myself. Why? You know why? Because, you know, this guy and Mimi Hijab, they love MMA and boxing and whatnot. So, you know, we'll go with them. Right? <laughs> Did you like that, guys? Popcorn? <laughs> someone, is, someone is having popcorn. Wow, that's good, man. Uh, Long use of Jerusalem. Sharing is scary. You know that, right? Come on, me! <laughs> uh. Alright, guys. Alright, alright. So, guys, as you know, as you know, when Muhammad Hijab, when he had that debate with David Wood, that awesome, amazing debate, right? Where Muslims were clapping when uh, Mr. Mimi Hijab was mocking David Wood, right? You have seen it, everybody have seen it by now, right guys? So after that debate, guys, after David Wood annihilated him in that debate, right? Thank you for the donations, guys. God bless you. Thank you for your support. God bless you and your families. So after that debate, this guy, you know, Muhammad Hijab, he went to Ghana immediately, right? He went to Ghana or Ghana, whatever you want to call it. And he actually knew what happened. He had the understanding what happened. I mean, you know, when, you're, when you get busted, when you get busted, you know, you have to go hide somewhere for a small period of time so people will not actually uh, come at you right hey Mimi Hijab you said uh, Allah prays for not to Muhammad you said Elijah means God with us I mean you said it Mimi Hijab I mean you have to you know you have to explain yourself right Mimi Hijab no no Mimi Hijab went to Ghana right after that embarrassing debate with David Wood, right? So when he came back, guys, when we, he came back from Ghana, he said, no, no, my bad. I meant to say Allah praises Muhammad. Remember? He said, I meant to say Allah praises Muhammad. You know, guys, the goat of Aisha, she ate the tea here. Sorry, guys. I mean, you know, that goat of Aisha, man, she's always hungry. So. The tea is gone, you know. We, we, we can blame the goat of Aisha. Because, you know, Aisha said the go her goat, she ate two Quranic ayahs, right? The ayahs of stoning fornication, people who commit fornication on adultery, right? And also breastfeeding adult males. So I think that same goat ate the tea. What can we do? That goat, man is always hungry someone please find that goat maybe we can you know get a ransom for it right because that goat is uh, the world most wanted goat find that goat because it you know it has the quranic eyes of allah inside her stomach anyway so muhammad hijab said no no i meant to say allah praises muhammad right that's what he said when he came back, right? That's what he said when he came back. So guys, for the people who didn't see my yesterday's video, you know, to, you know, to, you know, to show them, maybe the Muslims didn't see it, you know, you know, we have to play that game, right? We have to play that game, you know, to put it more in their faces like a cream of butter or whatever cream Muslims use. Let me show it to the audience again. Dare you, I challenge you to bring me a single religion. Put Islam to a side that glorifies Jesus like we do. Dare you, I challenge you to bring me a single religion. Put Islam to a side that glorifies Jesus like we do. Oh. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? Let me scroll back. Guys, I can't stop playing this video, you know, I mean, I, I really played this video like more than 10 times, 
already. But you know, this is a really big bust. Guys, pay attention what Ali Dawa, the nurse of Muhammad Hijab, is saying. Pay attention. He shall glorify me. I dare you. I challenge you. He's challenging. A single religion. Put Islam to a side. That glorifies Jesus like we do. That glorifies Jesus like we do. You Muslims glorify Jesus? <laughs> You Muslims glorify Jesus? When did that happen? I challenge you to bring me a single religion. Put Islam to a side. You filthy that liar. Glorifies Jesus like we do. Okay, no. <laughs>
There's a difference between yusalli lahu and yusalli ala in the Arabic language. I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> I knew I was going to have to give you a free Arabic lesson here today. I knew it. And that's why the translators put for, not to the Prophet. You don't know what the, the words in Arabic mean. Don't hear, speak salah. Come on, please, don't embarrass yourself. According to Mr. Hijab, what did I say? And he's here saying that he prays to the Prophet. What did I actually say multiple times? Surely Allah and his angels pray for the Prophet. Allah and his angels pray for the Prophet. What's the correct translation? And that's why the translators put for, not to the Prophet. Muhammad Hijab. What an embarrassing career ending statement. So you heard it, guys. I mean, you heard it, right? Mimi Hijab said, Allah prays for, not to the Prophet. Now, guys, I've mentioned that earlier to you. You know, David Wood, I love him. I respect him. But he's not an Arabic speaker like me. So when David Wood makes a mistake in the Arabic, he's not an Arab. He's not from the Middle East. Because this is wrong. The Arabic doesn't say for and certainly not say to. So it's not for and it's not to. It's on. Allah, right? Allah means on. But here comes the thing. When you claim to be an Arabic expert like this Egyptian boy, this three street thug, Mimi Hijab, he's nothing but a street thug who claims to be an Arabic expert you cannot have a cake and eat it too because i as an arabic speaker i'm watching and i'm going to spank you after you're done mr mimi hijab it's not for it's not to it's on the prophet and he said i have to teach you arabic lessons who is teaching who you donkey and guys donkey is not an insult in the arabic world okay so so sorry for insulting any donkey who is watching and listening, right? A real donkey who is watching and listening. But donkey, guys, is not an insult. It means stupid, right? So this stupid donkey that you see here claims to be an Arabic expert teaching David Wood Arabic lessons. He has no clue that Allah means on. Disgusting liar. Go learn Arabic yourself first, then come back. Mimi Hijab. Huh? You cannot have a cake and eat it too. It's on the Prophet. It's not for, it's not to. Like I said, I don't blame David Wood. He's not an Arab. He's not an Arabic speaker. Right? But you saw that this guy was clearly not listening. I mean, if you are debating someone, you have to listen to the other debater, right? At least listen, else people will not ever follow you anymore. And, you know, the proof is in front of you that Muslims who were there clapping for Mimi Hijab, they were not there for the truth. They did not care about the truth. They came to listen to the mockings of this Abdul here, this donkey. And remember, we just said donkey in Arabic world is not an insult. It means stupid. Every, even when you're stupid, you're stupid. You can't help yourself, right? He was clearly not listening. Exactly, Peter M. Right? I mean, you know, Muslims always tell me when it's on Discord on the, or in the comment section, Rob Christian, why are you not showing your face? Show your face. <laughs> why? You want to date me or you want to debate me, Abdul? Right? You want me to be like this guy who comes in a nice suit and his lovely beard. I mean, man, this guy maybe has like a... 10 centimeter long beard, but you need to see my mustache, man. My mustache is 10 meters long, bro. I kid you not. You know, you get shocked how, how long my mustache is. I know Christian Prince has a very long beard, but my mustache outgrows the beard of uh, Christian Prince. I kid you not. <laughs> Uh, 
Anyway, anyway, <laughs> you know, it's not about the beard, uh, Mr. Mimi Hijab. I know you are forced as a Salafi Muslim to have a beard and trim your uh, mustache, right? That's what you have to do, right? As a Salafi, huh? You see, you know, this beard, man. I mean, come on, man. It's all about the beard. It's not about the truth. It's all about the beard of Mimi Hijab and mocking. Mocking. They came to mock. He never came to actually de debate David Wood on a academic level. right? He came to mock him. And mocking in Islam means you win, right? That's basically it you know muslims actually do not care about the truth because if you did care about the truth as a muslim you would have never stayed a muslim for a split second in islam right yeah i'm i'm younger than christian prince princess uh, rainbow yes you're correct i mean you, you don't hear it from my voice i mean come on man well, but for the people who don't know me or have never watched my videos, maybe it can be that you are the first time here. But guys, I'm doing this for a long time, right? I'm one of the old school guys on Paul Talk, right? Yeah, my mustache is very long, man. I mean, do you want me to, to open my cam and show you? I'm come on, man. You, yeah. You'll, you'll jump out of the window, man. You'll get shocked, you know, in instant shock, right? But anyway, guys, anyways. Jokes aside. Let us continue, guys. Let us continue the teaching of today. Right? Let me show you how Mimi Hijab, when he came back, when he came back from uh, Ghana, when he came back from Ghana, what he said, so we are going to make it even more worse for the fanboys of Muhammad Hijab. We are going to make it more worse for them and more worse for Mimi Hijab. Because, you know, his career was ended on this platform here that you see, right? It was all, it's over for him. It's over. He knows that. This is why he's not only uh, debating liberals and atheists, right? He does not want to debate with a smart debater like David Wood again, let alone with an Arabic speaker like me or Christian Prince, right? Right? It will never happen, guys. Trust me. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian, right? The Rob Christian. I will open up my Skype when I'm done teaching. So hold your horses. If you have any questions as a Muslim or you want to call us live, you have to wait for a couple of minutes, right? So let me go to the video that I found for Mimi Hijab when he came back to London after he went hiding in Ghana, right? Let me play the video for you. With our tune is the problem with the English language yeah. because I yes, said praise, yes. praise I and blessings you. cannot mean praise. Oh. It's P R A I S E. Go English. Now it, maybe it was too quick, guys. Let me again play it again for you because some people maybe did not catch what he said. Let me play it again. With our tune is the problem with the English language yeah. because I yes, said praise, yes. praise I and blessings you. cannot mean praise. Oh. It's P R A I S E. Go English. Guys, did you did you see what the, his deception? Did you see what he said? Did you see what he said after he came back from Ghana? He said, "No, no, my bad. I meant to say Allah praises Muhammad. No, Abdul. No, Abdul. You filthy liar." Huh? You filthy liar? That's not what you meant to say. We just heard the recording. It's recorded. People have uploaded that video that you got busted with in that debate with David, right? 
You said clearly, Allah prays for, not to. You didn't say Allah praises the Prophet, you filthy liar. Did you catch it, guys? <laughs> Did you catch it? He said Allah praises the Prophet, right? You see how they are using lies and deception, guys? You see how he got busted? I mean, someone asked me, someone asked me to uh, spank Muhammad Hijab like I did yesterday for Ali Dawa. Well, there you go. <laughs> Is that enough proof, guys? You heard him, right? Guys, maybe for the people who didn't hear it. Let me play it again. With our tune is the problem with the English language yeah. because I yes, said praise, yes. praise I and blessings you. cannot mean praise. Oh. It's P R A I S E. Oh, English. <laughs> Guys, it's the English language. It's the English language. Have you heard? It's the English language. The problem is not with the Arabic. You have to go to the Arabic. You have to go to the Arabic, 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 Arabic. Was that a good echo, guys? Let me try again. The problem is with the Arabic, 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 Arabic. Right? And Hatun, yeah, Hatun was smiling, right? You, you saw her smile? Arabic, Arabic, Arabic. That's the problem, guys. It's not the English. You, you cannot use English. It's always go back to the Arabic. Well, let us go back to the Arabic to spank you even more, Mr. Mimi Hijab. All right? Guys, let us go to the Arabic. It's the English. Okay, okay, don't worry, be happy. All right? Forget about the English, guys. It sounds like Jibril in that cave, right, Bali? Here we go. Yeah, that was not me speaking, that was Jibril. Arabic, Arabic, Arabic. Muhammad, Iqra, 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 let me squeeze you, Iqra, 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 let me squeeze you again, Iqra, Ma ana bi qari, qari, ma abna bi qari, 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 that was what Muhammad was saying back to Muhammad, I cannot read because there is not something to read from, read from, read from, Iqra, Iqra, Guys, okay, okay. I mean, I can't help myself, guys. You're asking for this. Yeah, I mean, why are you watching my live shows? You know. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay. Well, let us go to the Arabic. Let us go to the Arabic. Al Arabiya, right? Let us go to the Al Arabiya. Squeeze, squeeze. Muhammad, read, read, read. Okay, okay. Guys, <clears throat> when you're going to say Allah praises the Prophet, right? Allah praises the Prophet. You cannot have a cake and eat it too, Mr. Ali Dawa or Mr. Muhammad Hijab in this case. You cannot have a cake and eat it too. And the proof is in front of you. If we go to chapter 1, pay attention guys, here comes the spanking of Mr. Muhammad Hijab. We will nail the coffin, uh, nail the nail on his coffin today, right? Chapter 1, Ayah 2. All praise unto Allah. Alhamdulillah to their God La. Remember? For Li. For Li. And then their God name is La, right? Alhamd, the praise so that means all praise is for Allah only what did Mimi Hijab say I meant to say Allah praises the Prophet Alhamd to the Prophet he's that's what he says right Alhamd to the Prophet what does the Quran say Mr. Mimi Hijab you deceiver you liar you cannot have a cake and eat it too because you are spanking Allah and you're spanking Muhammad thank you 
thank you for showing us that you are nothing but a Muhammadan. You are actually worshipping the Prophet when you say Allah praise. On top of that, you are making it even more worse for Allah because you are claiming that Allah is the slave of Muhammad, right? Because if the Quran says all praise is for Allah and you're going to say that all praise is for Muhammad because in this case Allah is the one doing the praise, right? Allah is doing the praise for Muhammad. That means Allah is the slave. He is Abd, the Prophet. He is the slave of the Prophet. Thank you, Mr. Mimi Hijab. So yesterday we spanked Ali Dawa and today we served and spanked Mimi Hijab. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. And that's not only it. Now, like I said, after I uploaded my yesterday short video about Ali Dawa, I got a lot of comments and messages from the Abduls who did not dare to call me today. I will show you that they are not going to dare to call me and refute me. You cannot refute this and here's why. Watch guys, take notes. Islam 101. Islam 101. Muslims say, Subhanallah, right? Have, how many times have you heard this word? Subhanallah. That means, as like we showed you, right? Like all praise to Allah, Subhanallah, all glory to Allah. So, where does Subhan come from? I'm going to show you in the next picture. Subhanallah means all glory to Allah. No, one's, no one is worthy enough, according to their... Um, guys, this is Arabic, right? He was, you know how he was mocking uh, Hatun, Ta Hatun Tash? You, you saw, right? He was mocking her. English. No, no, we are talking about the Arabic. You cannot use taqiyya or you cannot have a cake and eat it too. Right? Mr. Mimi Hijab. Subhanallah. All glory to Allah. Because in Islam, only Allah can get the glory. Right? Subhanallah. You cannot say Subhan Muhammad. If you say Subhan Muhammad, you're out of Islam, guys. I challenge any Muslim to tell me to come on the mic when I open my Skype, to come on the mic, call me, take your mic, call me, and say Subhan Muhammad. I challenge you. I will give you a thousand dollar. I'll give you a thousand dollar if you can show me from any Muslim source. Authentic source that you are allowed as a Muslim to say Subhan Muhammad. I challenge you right here, right now. If you can show me one authentic source where you are allowed to say Subhan Muhammad, I will close my YouTube channel. That's my challenge to you. So when you say Subhanallah, that means all glory to Allah. That's it. So, you know what, what Muslims so are doing? They are using the modern English words, guys, to tell you, oh, glory can mean respect. My friend, you are a Muslim. I'm a Christian. Glory means you are worshipping. It's an act of worship. And in Islam, it's also an act of worship. You cannot play English modern games, English modern words. You cannot use that with me. I'm an Arabic speaker. I am immune for taqiyya. Guys, I am following the advice of Muhammad. Every morning when I wake up, I make a nice cup of coffee. Sometimes, you know, I don't like to have a coffee. I make myself a nice tea, right? And besides that, I have seven ajwa, right? I always, every week I go to the Arabic store. We have a nice Arabic store here, not very far from me. And I go there and I buy ajwa, right? Because Muhammad said so. If you eat seven ajwa, you're going to be immune, right? For, from black magic and um, from poison and uh, also from taqiyya, right? That's what, I, what, that's what they told me. So I always eat seven ajwa, so I will become immune for taqiyya, black magic and poison, right? So, guys, you need to follow that advice. Eat seven ajwa to become immune. Anyway, so subhanallah means and only means all glory to Allah. And alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, you see, la. Their God's name is la, right? 
لي as we explained to you لا right لي لا that's their name of their god yeah eat seven ajwa man it it will help you to get immune all right so alhamdulillah all praise to allah right and where do they get this from from the quran right all praise to allah or for allah right alhamdulillah all praise to allah or for allah no it's a name Yericho John, it's a name. It's the name of their moon god. It's a moon idol. And then they dare to claim that their moon idol, Lah, is our true god, the true living god of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You Muslims have no shame, you have no dignity to say that your dead solid idol, Lah, the moon idol, that it's the same God of the Holy Bible. That means you're showing us your ignorance. And ignorance is bliss in Islam, guys. Right? And the proof is in front of you. So, you cannot play English word games with us because that's Islam 101, guys. Right? Don't ever, don't ever let a Muslim fool you with modern English meanings of words because you have always go to the arabic how many times have you heard from muslims you have to go to the arabic 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 like in the cave of hira for muhammad iqra, iqra, iqra. now did jibril give the quran to muhammad in english were those words in english no iqra, iqra. arabic 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 Anyway, so take notes, guys. Right? In this page, guys, this this I made this for you guys, especially for you, right? You look look how much I love you guys. Right? I love you. You 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 are my brothers and sisters in Christianity, right? I am putting a lot of work, guys, to explain how it works, right? So if you like our teaching, guys, help me to help you. God bless you. God bless your families. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button and click on the notification bell to receive notifications when we go live or upload videos. Right. So on this second screen that you see here on this page here, you'll see the means, the meaning of Tasbih. Tasbih, guys, means to glorify. And we showed you Tasbih, Subhan, comes from Tasbih. Tasbih means Subhan, right? Subhanallah, Tasbih, right? It's the same root word, right? So Tasbih is to glorify. And in Islam, according to the Arabic, Arabic, Arabic. Have you heard in Muslim? Arabic, Arabic, Arabic. Not modern English, not modern English, not modern English. Maybe, you know, if you don't do with echo. I mean, if you, how many times have you watched Islamic videos where they always use e echo, right? When they recite the Quran. They always use echo, right, guys? They always use echo. Echo, echo, right. So this is why I always use echo. Maybe they can't hear it if we don't do it in echo. <laughs> so, tasbih is to glorify only Allah and only Allah. You cannot do tasbih for Muhammad. You cannot do tasbih for Jesus or Isa. That's what they said. We don't know Isa, but anyway, let it go. So, how they use it in Islam? Muslims will say, Subhanallah, meaning glory to Allah. Right? All praise to Allah, all glory to Allah. Right? So, the word is tasbih. Subhanallah, that's how they use it, meaning glory to Allah. Can you say Subhana Muhammad? Or maybe Subhan Rob Christian. I challenge you, if you call yourself a Muslim and don't use taqiyya, you're going to call me on Skype after I'm done. I'll open up my Skype and you call me and you're going to say Subhan Rob Christian. That means you are respecting, you are respecting and you're honoring, honoring me. Can you use that? Can you say Subhan Rob Christian and be a Muslim or are you an apostate 
Can you say, if you are a Muslim, let's say you are a Muslim, you love Ali Da'wah, you love Mimi Hijab. Guys, pay attention. Are you with me? Are you with me? Give me one if you're with me. Can you say, Subhan Mimi Hijab? Huh? Can you say, Subhan Ali Da'wah? Uh oh, you can't say that, right, Muslims? So, Subhan is only for Allah. This is why you say, SubhanAllah. Glory to Allah. You see how they are playing, guys? How they are playing with modern English meanings of words? Don't ever, don't ever trust a Muslim when they mention the word truth. Because truth, they will never use truth in, your, in the debates with you. When you debate a Muslim, there is nothing called truth. I mentioned earlier, Jihad is war, and war is always used by Muslims in their debates with you as a Christian. And war is deception. Art of war is deception. So, they will use taqiyya. They will use deception. And the proof is in front of you. Guys, I had to do this today because I had a lot of, lot of comments from Muslims who are trying to use the English meaning of glorify right it means respect we are respecting you know that's what Ali Dawa meant to say when he said there's no one who glorifies Jesus as we do end quote that's what he said right so glory is only for Allah you filthy deceiver you cannot use taqiyya and go away with it because I'm here to spank you Allah made me, you know, according to the Quran, Allah misguides whoever he likes. So Allah is the one, don't blame me, blame Allah who misguided Rob Christian to spank Islam and spank you. Yeah, Subhan Jesus, that means you are already out of Islam. If you, Mr. Dermawan Samudra, sorry if I'm butchering your name, but my friend, if you say Subhan Jesus, you're already out of Islam, according to Islam. And the proof is in front of you, right? Yeah, I am destroying Islam by the will of Allah. Thank you, Peter M. You are correct, my friend. What can we do? Blame Allah. Don't blame Rob Christian. Allah made me do it. Right? So, another example, guys. We are not done yet. Bear with me. Are you with me, guys? <clears throat> I hope I'm not boring you to death, guys. Come on. You know, I'm, sometimes I can be really, really boring. I know, I know. What can we do? Allah made me do, made me that, like that. He made me really boring. I, you know, I can't help myself. So I hope you're with me, guys. Give me one if you're with me. And I hope, Lord willing, I'm not putting you asleep. So Islam 101 again. Tasbih, as we mentioned earlier, means to glorify Allah and only Allah alone. To glorify, right? Example, guys, take notes. I'm doing this so you can learn from this, guys. Use this. So if you like today's teaching, guys, download it, upload the parts that you like. Cut, use the cut option in the video editor, right? If you have a video editor, cut it. Cut the part that you like and use it, right? So the example that Muslims use, Anna. Usabih Allah, right? For example, meaning I glorify Allah. They are doing tasbih, right? I glorify Allah. So, Muslims, can you have a cake and eat it too and say that glorification means respect, honor? No. You cannot have a cake and eat it too because you're a Muslim. I'm a Christian. When you speak as a Muslim, you cannot use modern English translation or meaning of words. I mean, English, guys, the English language. How long is the, how, oh, sorry, how old is the English language? Can someone help me? How old is the English language? Right? Especially the new modern meanings. Couple of hundred years, maybe? Where's the, was there something called English in the time of Jesus? 
Huh? Was there something called English in the time of Muhammad? Couple centuries, right? Only Phil Herrera, thank you. Yes, idiot? John Muslim. John Muslim. You say yes, idiot? The language that we know as English. I mean, if you go, let me, let me give you an example. If you go to the King James version of the Bible, right? That English is not the English that we speak today, right? So English is changed during these centuries, right? We, our English today is not the same English spoken in the time of King James, right? For example, right? So you cannot use modern English meaning of words when it comes to the meaning of religious meanings of the Islam or Christianity. When we say glory to Jesus, we glorify Jesus because he is our Lord. No one is, else is worthy to be glorified like Jesus according to Christianity, according to the Christians. And when you as a Muslim are going to speak on behalf of Islam and Allah and Muhammad, you cannot say Subhan Muhammad and go away with it. We are here to spank you left and right. Deal with it, swallow it, don't forget to digest it and chew. Right? Because, you know, else you have to go to the hospital. Deal with it, Muslims. Right? This is Islam 101. Right? Islam 101. And as we showed you an example. Islam 101, guys. The conclusion of today's teaching. The conclusion is Muslims use the modern English meaning of words to deceive you. That's it. So you cannot have a cake and eat it too and say glorification or to glorify means it means that Ali Dawa, when Ali Dawa said there is no one who glorified Jesus more than us and he was speaking for all the Muslims around him and all the Muslims in the world. Right Ali Dawa? Remember? Huh? When he said that in my yesterday's video? Mr. Ali Dawa and Mr. Muhammad Hijab, you cannot use modern English meaning of words and go away with it. Because when you're going to try to deceive, we teachers, we apologists, we debaters, we are here to spank you. We are here, we are watching. Big Brother is watching you. Modern English meaning, meaning, meaning. Go to the Arabic, Arabic, Arabic. Iqra, Iqra, Iqra. Subhan Muhammad Muhammad. Oh. Wait, you cannot say Subhan Muhammad, else you are out of Islam, right Muslims? Tasbih is only and only for Allah alone. Alhamd is only for Allah and Allah alone. You are out of Islam the moment you say Subhan Muhammad or Subhan Jesus or Alhamd li Jesus or Alhamd li Muhammad. You are out of Islam. So today, guys, we showed you that these people have no shame. They have no dignity. They are deceivers. They are liars. Never, ever trust a Muslim when you debate. Always keep that in mind, guys. Keep that in mind, in mind, in mind. Have you heard it? Keep that in mind, in mind, in mind. Art of war, deception. That's what they use. Right? All right, guys. Guys, don't pay attention to these Abduls, right? We're not here to entertain uh, kids, okay? We are not here to entertain kids. If you call yourself a man, you're going to call me today, all right? All right? Guys, I went to islamqna.info. Let me give you the link. And the admin, if do we have still admins with us, guys? Is the ad, are the admins here still? Maybe they can give you the link too. Look what this Sheikh, Sheikh Muhammad Salah Al Munajjad, is explaining. Right? We use this website often to show you how uh, this Sheikh. This is the the Sheikh of this website. He is a PhD Sheikh. Right? He is going to answer some questions. The Prophet. Allah is, ble is blessing? What? Allah is praying, right? Allah is the one doing the praying. There's nothing called blessing. So Allah is praying and to who Allah prays, we still have no answer till today. 
So Allah is praying on him, said, so Muhammad said, Allah, may he be glorified and exalted. Did you see it? Did he say, may I be glorified? No, he said, Allah, may he be glorified and exalted. Did you catch it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So when you're going to say glorification is a respect, no, no. Muhammad clearly said, Allah, may he be glorified and exalted, right? Subhanallah, right? Let me go back. Subhanallah. That's what Muhammad is saying here, right guys? Subhanallah. He didn't say, Subhanu Muhammad. He said, Subhanallah. And all glory is for Allah. Only Allah in Islam, guys. This moon idol, La, right? The La, he has the, he's only worthy to be glorified. Subhanallah, right? Sometimes they write it as a one word, right? Subhanallah. They write it in, in the English. They write it sometimes separate, but also like this. But it's actually one word in the Arabic, right? Subhanallah, right? Subhanallah. So only the glory is only for Allah. Did you catch it? So Subhanallah, Muhammad is saying. Right? Did you catch it? This is not me talking. This is Sheikh Muhammad Salah al Munajid, and the proof is in front of you. You see? So you cannot say glorification means honoring and respect. No, no, Abdul. Shame on you. Stop lying. I'm here to spank you. Right? And if we go to the Quran, guys, take notes, please. Pay attention. Take notes. So if you go to the Quran, I think I've shown this before, right? Chapter 48. Let me give you the link. Chapter 48, Ayah 9. Thank you for the donation. God bless you. Thank you for your support. God bless you and your families. We appreciate it. So if we go to chapter 48, Ayah 9, it says, wa rasulihi wa 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 Tasbih, remember? Tasbih. Bukratan wa asila. Here, Muhammad, or let's say the scribe of Muhammad, made a huge mistake, a huge disaster. Guys, a huge, huge, huge disaster in this ayah of the Quran. Why? According to grammar rules, pay attention guys, for the people who did not see this before. According to the grammar rules, the last person, which is in this case the Rasul, aka also known as Muhammad, when you ask Muslims, who is this Rasul? They say it's Muhammad. So, according to the grammar rules, Arabic grammar rules, forget about English because this is Quran. And Quran is only in Arabic, right? Muslims don't accept translation, right? They always say, you have to go to the Arabic, 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 Arabic. Yeah, this is the Arabic, guys. So, according to the Arabic grammar rules, the last person mentioned in the ayah, all the words that come after him, all the words are for Muhammad, right? That's according to Arabic grammar rules, right? That's what they have taught us when we were in school. Basic grammar rules. So when you have to assist and honor Muhammad and do tasbih that means you have to glorify this is a false translation let me go to a good translation you know these liars man you see glory declare the glory of who Muhammad according to gra grammar Arabic rules Arabic grammar rules. Rules, rules, rules. Arabic, Arabic, Arabic. Grammar, grammar, grammar. Did you catch it? Maybe I have to repeat myself, Muslims. Right? Because your prophet said, Assalamu alaikum, Assalamu alaikum, Assalamu. He had, he always had to say things at least thrice, three times, right? What Zach and Ike videos? A brother, sister, you have to glorify. I can't do it, guys. I can't do like Christian. I can't do it. <laughs> A brother, sister, you have to glorify Muhammad according to the right Arabic grammar rules. A brother, sister, 
Yeah, I can't do it, guys. Sorry. I'm not as good as Christian Prince. Right? <laughs> Muslims, you have to deal with chapter 48, and 9. Take notes, guys. Bookmark it. Let me give you the link again for the people who just joined in. This ayah, this verse of the Quran is a huge disaster. And the one who wrote this ayah made a huge disaster, a huge dilemma for the Muslim. He caused mass confusion. If you are an Arabic speaker like me, you should see the disaster here. Because according to this ayah, you have to glorify, you have to do tasbih. And we showed you the meaning of tasbih, right? Subhan, all glory to Allah only, right? Only to Allah. So when you do tasbih, According to this ayah, you have to do it only for Muhammad because he's the last person mentioned in the ayah. Right? Yeah, I know, Princess Rainbow. This is why I, you know, I can't do it. I can't I can do Zekar Naik voice. I, brother, sister, I can't do it. <laughs> so if you want to hear it, go to a Christian Prince, right? <laughs> he is much better than anyone of us in doing the voice of Zekar Naik. And how many times did Christian Prince spank Zekar Naik left and right? Why is Zekar Naik not stepping up to the betas? Because he's a coward. He will never, ever, ever in his life. He want, if he wants to keep earning millions and millions of dollars, American dollars, he will never, ever call me or Christian Prince because his career will and in 10 minutes, I, I, I promise you, we can do it even under 10 minutes. I will spank him left and right. Every thing, every claim that he is going to say, I will spank him with it. I have a very nice headset. My headset is actually not very cheap. It's only $10. You know, that's not cheap, man. I have a very good headset and I can listen and I can focus. And I make sure to eat my seven ajwa before I debate Mr. Zakir Naik, right? Ali Dawa, I can do Ali Dawa. Because, you know, I'm going to spank myself. So, don't ask me to do Ali Dawa, right? Ali Dawa said, and I quote, You don't glorify Jesus like we do, right? Like the Muslims do, right? Yeah, yeah. Mr. Liar, you deceiver. And if we go to another ayah, chapter 33, ayah 56, let me explain this verse to you, because this is the verse, right? This is the verse. This is the ayah, guys. Let me drink something, guys. My, you know, I'm already talking for at least one hour. So now and then, I, you know, I have to eat seven ajwa and drink something. <clears throat> so, here, if we go to the Arabic, it says, Inna Allah wa malaikatuhu yusalluna ala nabi. Did you catch it? Ala. What? Ala. 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 What did Mr. Mimi Hijab said? Allah prays for. For. What does Ala mean? On. Ala. On. 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 Not for. Not for. Not to. Not to. On. 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 Mr. Mimi Hijab. On. On. Mr. Mimi Hijab who claims to be an Arabic expert. Expert, expert, Arabic. It's not for, for, it's on, on. Did you catch it? On, on. That's what it means. So, Mr. Ali Dawa, your God La, the La, your God La, right? Let me make it bigger. Do you see it? Your God La and his angels are praying on, on, on. Al Nabi, right? It has nothing to do with blessing. This is a false translation because blessing, guys, is barakah. Let me put it in the text. Blessing is barakah. Why did not Allah, why did he not use the word barakah? You know, Muslims always say Arabic is one of the most richest languages in the world, right? Why did Allah choose the word Yusalluna, which means praying and only praying. They are praying. 
And if you're going to say, let us go, guys, let us go with the taqiyya. Let us listen to deception. Let's say I'm deceived. I'm a small Christian deceived boy, right? I fell victim to the deception of Ali Dawa and Mimi Hijab. I'm acting, guys. I, this is act. This is not real, okay? Um, I'm a Christian little boy, and I think this word means blessing, right? Right? That means Allah and his angels are blessing the Prophet? Wait a second. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's say this is, this is the meaning. The meaning, the real meaning is blessing, which is not, by the way. But... Let's say it means blessing. Is the blessing of Allah not enough? I mean, this is Allah, right? You claim that it's God. God la, right? God la. God la. The last three words, uh, letters. La, right? Is the blessing of Allah not enough? How are the angels going to bless the Prophet? Last time I checked, only God can bless, right? Blessings come from God. If you claim Allah is God, how can the angels bless Muhammad? Uh oh. You see the problem? So even if it's blessing, even if it's the meaning, the real meaning is blessing, you still have to deal with the angels' blessing. And not only that, not only that, Ya ayyuhalladina amanu, guys. Here it's talking about the believers. How can you bless Muhammad? I mean, last time I checked, blessings come from Allah, right? From God, according to Islam. So how are you going to bless Muhammad as a believer? How are you going to bless Muhammad as an angel? Because your blessings come from Allah. Keep barking. John Muslim, if you dare to call yourself a Muslim, a Muslim male, you're not a woman or a child or a kid. Call me and end my career. I challenge you. Silence me. Refute me. Right? Call me. I'm live. Guys, my Skype is open. Call me. My Skype ID is the Arab Christian. Yeah, I know. This is why I was saying don't pay attention to this John Abdul Muslim. This Muhammadan who is doing shirk, right? Worshipping Muhammad. You have to worship and glorify Muhammad because tasbih is an act of worship, right? Subhan, tasbih, glory to Allah. Blah, 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 blah. You know, be a nice little kid because you're a coward like all your heroes who... We spanked again today. We spanked Mimi Hijab. We spanked Ali Dawa. We, I mean, I'm doing, I'm spanking them for the last five days. And no Muslim has the courage and the knowledge to call me and refute me and silence me. You're finished. Mr. Uh, you know, uh, Mimi Hijab always in his video says, you're finished. Who is finished now, Mr. Mimi Hijab? You're finished. You're finished. 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 You know, in that, uh, after that debate, the Muslims started to say, your boy got smashed. You know, they, they love MMA fighting. Your boy got smashed, Muslims. Your boy here, Mr. Mimi Hijab, today and for at least a week, he and his team got smashed by Christian Prince and Rob Christian. Your boy got smashed. You're finished. Finished. Huh? Mr. Mimi Hijab, who is finished? You. You. You are finished. I'm using his language, guys. Sorry. Bear with me. I'm quoting. I'm not, these are not my words. I'm quoting him. Right? Do we have any Muslim who has the courage and the knowledge? I mean, I'm talking for one hour and ten minutes at least. We have almost 150 people watching. Are you telling me there is no Muslim who has the knowledge and the courage to call me live? On Skype? We have two dislikes at least. That means we have two Abduls who are not agreeing with me, hence the dislikes. So that means you can call me, right? Is there any Ustas? 
is there any imam who is not doing mut'a business? For a split second, I mean, I know you Muslim shuyukh are earning a lot of money from the halala marriages and uh, mut'a in chapter 44, ayah 24. Call me. Hiding, huh? In the cave, cave, cave of Hira, Hira, Hira. Hiding behind English meaning, meaning of words, words, words. Right? You filthy liars. Right? Deceiver. Mr. Mimi Hijab, you deceiver. Mr. Ali Dawa, you truly have no shame and no dignity or honor. You glorify Jesus more than us. <laughs> Allah praises the Prophet. <laughs> and we showed you guys today that you cannot have a cake and eat it too because tasbih, subhan, is only for Allah. You cannot say subhan Muhammad. So, Mr. Mimi Hijab, shame on you for lying, using deception. Taqiyya, to prove your points. Hiding behind modern English words. While the Arabic clearly says, Subhan is only for Allah. So, Subhanallah. Alhamdulillah, la, the moon idol la. There's nothing called Allah, basically. Because al means the, right? In modern Arabic, al means the. The la. So, your God's name is la. And the proof is in front of you. All praise is for la, right? La, right? So I think the goat of Aisha, she ate the the. Again, always the goat of Aisha, man. Always the goat of Aisha eating words, letters. Yeah, to la, exactly, Zukmiri, to la, exactly. So Muslims. Since you cannot refute me, you are too coward to call in. You have to deal with the facts. You have to deal with the fact that we spanked your heroes who are liars and deceivers. We have spanked and served Ali Dawa. Right? And you have to deal with the Arabic because you Muslims always say, go back to the Arabic, right? Well, we went back to the Arabic. So stop hiding behind modern English meaning of words because glorification is only for God when it comes to religion shame on you shame on you you're finished Mr. Mimi Hijab you're finished you're finished oh sorry guys someone is asking Jimmy Fernando is asking, what is la meaning uh, it's the Arabic pagan yeah it's the moon idol it's the moon idol before Islam. Muhammad stole that name and he put it in Islam, right? Let me show you again from the Quran. Lee, my friend uh, Jimmy, give me a one, bro. Give me a one in the live chat. If you can hear me, give me a one. Put a one. <clears throat> Jimmy. Earth to Jimmy. Jimmy, are you there, bro? Okay, some people are listening, but why is he not giving me a one? Jimmy, when you ask a question, you have to confirm that you're listening, right? God bless you, Ermias Araya. God bless you, my friend. Okay, I don't know what, why this guy is asking me a question and not confirming that he's listening. Anyway, for the people who are listening, Lee means four. Okay, Jimmy is listening. Okay, okay, Jimmy, good, good. Forgive me if, you know, I'm not, I did not mean to say something wrong, right? Because I, what my intention is, when I teach, you have to listen if you ask questions, right? Respect me to respect you, help me to help you, bro. Okay, so thank you for your confirmation. Thank you for your respect. Lee, the proof is in front of you. Alhamd, guys, alhamd means all praise, the praise, all praise. Lee, meaning for, right? Two, four, whatever, you know. And La is the actual name of Allah. Because Al means the, and the real name is La. Right? 
Guys, I'm going to prove for you a very dis huge disaster. We showed you the disaster of chapter 48-9, right? We mentioned that Muslims must worship Muhammad because tasbih is an act of worship, right? So they have to worship Muhammad because glorification is an act of worship. But let me go to a Quranic ayah. Let's see if I can find it for you. Bear, bear with me, guys, okay? I hope it's in chapter 4, I think. Let's see. Okay, I think I found it, guys. Chapter 4, Ayah 157. I'm going to explain to you how Jesus is God from chapter 4. Okay? Are you with me, guys? Give me one of you are with me. Forget about the Muslims in the chat, guys. Come on. Forget about them. They are using taqiyah. Forget about them. And they are trying to, uh, you know, change topic. So, uh, help me to help you. Forget about what they are saying. They are nothing but liars, man. Anyway, and kids and cowards because they will never call me. So, chapter 4. Let me make it bigger. Chapter 4. Guys, let me go back first to explain to you a, a small detail. Right? You see El, guys, here. You see that? What does El mean? Again, for the Muslim uh, and the Christians who are listening. What does El mean? In the name of Allah. What does El, El mean? What does it mean? In modern Arabic, what does it mean? What does El mean? No. In Arabic, in Arabic now, Arabic. No. Yes, Paul. Paul got it right. It means the. Zakir Manik is also right. The. It means the, right? When you ask a Muslim, it, he, he will say it means the. So, L means the. Right? When you have a name of a person, guys, pay attention. When a person is mentioned, in this case, Allah, you, they use in the Quran the, the two letters L which means the, the la, right, as we explained to you. Now, if we go to uh, chapter 4, what do you see here, guys? This is the word of al-Masih, the Messiah, right? Do you see it? Do you see it? Are you with me, guys? The, the Messiah, right? Do you see it? Guys, why is the writer of the Quran using the same the as the for Allah? Because here, the writer of the Quran, uh, I'm still switching to the wrong. Anyway, why is the writer of the Quran writing the for Al-Masih? Huh? Because here they busted themselves. They made Al-Masih equal, the Messiah equal with Allah. Because El in the Quran is only reserved for Allah. So the writer of the Quran, this is a new stuff, right? This is new material for you guys. Maybe you didn't know about this. So when they use the word, the two letters, El, the Elif and the L, right? They made a huge disaster. Oops, exactly. Uh-oh. So when you say the Messiah, it's a title, right? And you are putting the in front of it, like Allah. Right? Did you catch it? Did you catch it? Uh-oh. So here, when they used El for El, the Messiah, here they gave Jesus, who is the Messiah. When you ask a Muslim, who is the Messiah? They will say it's Jesus, the son of Maryam, right? The Messiah, right? You see it? The Messiah who they called Jesus, Isa, we don't believe in Isa, but anyway, let, let it go. Isa, the son of Maryam. 
Did you catch it? So when they used the, they actually made the Messiah equal with all. Uh oh. Take notes, people. Chapter 4. This is chapter 4, Ayah 157. Well, really, I don't know. I never heard of Isa. We don't call Jesus Isa in Arabic as Christians. We call him, let me put it in text. Yes, El. You see again, El Masih. Why? Because Jesus is worthy to use the Yesu al Masih. That's the real name of Jesus. And actually, in Arabic, there's actually not a real name for Jesus because it's basically copied from Yeshua. Right? Which is Aramaic. So, we, the Arabic speaking Christians in the Middle East, we got the name Yeshua from Joshua, Yeshua or Joshua in the Hebrew, right? Yeshua is Aramaic, right? Yeshua, Yeshua, or Joshua, right? Those are the real names of Jesus. Did you catch it? So, who is Isa? I don't know, man. You tell me. Who is Isa? We think when we do some digging, Christian prince will say it's deep. So, when we do research and we do digging and we go very deep, we understood that Muhammad confused Esau, guys. Esau. Who is Esau, guys? In our Holy Bible, who is Esau? Can someone tell me that? To the people who are watching, who is Esau in the Holy Bible? Who is Esau in the Holy Bible? Come on, guys. Help me. Help me out here. Come on. No, not the brother of Isaac, Charlie. Red Mouth, brother of Jacob. Thank you. Esau in the Bible, in the Old Testament. Esau is the brother of Jacob, right? Who is also known as Israel, right? So Muhammad, he must have heard, you know, Muhammad is a fake prophet. When he hears something, he put it in Quran, right? So he must have heard of the name Esau and he thought, hey, Esau, <laughs> Esau must be Jesus, right? <laughs> so he thought that Esau is Jesus. So this is why he came up with the name Isa. Did you catch it? Uh oh, so that's, that's at least more than, let's say, 1400 years. I'm not sure what the exact number. Mistake. Uh oh. Yeah, what a donkey. Yeah. And guys, donkey is not an insult in Arabic, by the way. It means stupid. Right? There are a lot of donkeys in the Middle East, guys. I kid you not. Because it's not an insult. It means you're stupid. And st being stupid, it's not an you can I mean, you can't help it that you're stupid. So, uh, yeah. That's deep, yeah. Christian Prince would say that's deep. Uh-oh. So, you know. Why, why did they use El for El Messiah? I mean, you could have said Messiah, right? Disaster upon disaster. You see it? L. And here again, L. Here, you are elevating the Messiah to the same level of Allah. You are making the Messiah equal with Allah, right? Right? And not only that, if that's not enough, Muhammad made a bigger mistake and a huge disaster for the Muslims when he called Jesus the eternal word Kalimat Allah. That means if Jesus is Kalimat Allah and Allah's word is divine, it's uncorrupted, it's eternal, unchanged. That means if Kalimat Allah is unchanged, it is not created. The word of Allah is uncreated. That means 
Jesus in Islam is uncreated. What does that mean to you guys? That means Jesus is Allah because he's uncreated. He is the word of Allah, right? Uh oh. Uh oh. Muslims, you have to deal with this. Why are there no Muslims who dare to call me? And someone in Skype, guys, a Muslim Abdul, in, I think he's an Abdul. He says, prove to me that Jesus is God. Explain this one plus one plus one. Abdul, there is nothing one plus one plus one to explain. There is no, nothing called one plus one plus one. So how, how, I, how am I going to explain to you one plus one plus one if there is no, no one plus one plus one plus one? Our God is not bound to one plus one plus one. Abdul, there's something called unity. Compound unity. The Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit is one God. We're, he's not bound to any mathematical equation, Abdul. It's your, your stupidity, your donkiness, who is talking. Yeah, Abdul donkey. Guys, donkey is not an insult. Don't attack me in the, when I'm done teaching in the comment section. When I say donkey, I'm not insulting. And actually, it's an insult to the real donkeys to call Muslims donkeys. Because donkey in Arabic is not an insult. What can we do? Yeah, the donkeyness of the Abduls. That's what he's speaking. One plus one plus one. God forbid. It's blasphemy to say one plus one plus one. Our God is not bound to any mathematical equation. Alright. God is too holy for that. And we taught you last time in our last live show. That there is nothing called holy in Islam. Did you remember guys? Let me prove it to you. Again. If you didn't see that live show. Bear with me guys. Bear with me okay. Uh, let's see if this is the one. Who has no. Bear with me guys okay. Mm -mm. Okay. Guys, bear with me, okay? Let me prove it to you. Just a second. Of miracles. Listen. I have read to you a verse from the Holy Quran. Abdul, there is no such thing called the Holy Quran. The Quran in Islam is unholy. Yes, you heard it correctly. The Quran in Arabic is called Al Quran Al Karim, the noble Quran. Let me pray for you a video from a Sunni Sheikh who will rebuke and destroy. Ahmadidat, when Ahmadidat This is said, your Islamic hero, Quran right? Is holy. <laughs> no, there is no such thing called Holy Prophet or Holy Quran. Let me play the video for you. No such thing as Holy Quran. You will not, Holy in Arabic means Muqaddas. Muqaddas. Have you ever came across an ayah in the book of Allah where Allah says Al Quran al Muqaddas? Ever came in a narration? No. And as mentioned before, there's no such thing as Holy Quran. We don't have anything in Islam called Holy Quran. In Christianity, you have Holy Father. Yeah. So Holy Muslims, Son, when they Holy do Ghost, it, they Holy steal Bible. the word from us. But in Islam, we they don't steal have Holy from us. Holy is a Christian Holy concept. Quran and the Holy other things. Have you heard it? There is no such thing called Holy Quran. There is no such thing called Holy Prophet. So, Mr. Ahmadidad, you're a liar and a deceiver. You're a liar and a deceiver. A verse from the Holy Quran. A verse from the Holy Quran. A verse from the Holy Quran. The Holy guys, enough said. Enough. Enough. Enough is enough, right, guys? Enough 
is enough. Someone is calling me. Let's see who this guy is calling. <clears throat> send me a message. Send me a message, uh, Abdul. The one who is calling me, send me a message. Send me a message, Abdul, to know that you are not a kid. Hello, send me a message. You know what, this guy, let me call him back, wait. Hassan called me, Hassan, Hassan. Pick up, Abdul. Hello? 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 Yes? This is your daddy, Ahmed. Go, just go, Abdul. Kid. Kids, man. Abdul, uh, Imams, Ustaz, is this, is, that, is this the kid that you are sending me? I'm live for one hour and at least 32 minutes. Are you sending me kids? Let me block this kid, man. Kids, man. Where's those stars when you need him, man? Hassan Hassan. I think it was uh, Mr. Ultimate Shirk with a different nickname. All right. You know, we are not here to entertain kids. Is this the best that you got, Muslims? God bless you too, Christian Prince videos. Welcome to, to the ones who just joined in. God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, and also click on the notification bell to receive notifications when we go live. Is there any Ustaz who has the courage and the knowledge? Are you only left with Muslims? I mean, you Muslims say Islam is the fastest growing religion, and you claim that you have 1.8 billion Muslims. Are you only left with Muslims? Who are nothing but kids? You see? Ultimate shirk, you're a kid. You know, I know it was you, you kid. Yeah? I'm not going to entertain you, Abdul. Donkey. Yeah, a donkey, man. I don't have time for kids. Is there any ustaz? And uh, by the way, guys, ultimate shirk here. Guys, for people who do not know, let me show you. Who this, you know, I did some, uh, some research. And he's now this Shirk Abdul, who calls himself the truth. And the truth is one of the 99 names of Allah, right guys? So this Mushrik, you know who he's, who he's following? Who thinks that he's his prophet? Actually, this ultimate Shirk, guys. Are you with me, guys? Are you with me? Give me one if you're with me. Yeah, I'm very scared of Ultimate Shirk. Let me prove to you that you're another true Muslim, Abdul. Mr. Ultimate Shirk, you're a follower of Rashid Khalifa, right? You're a follower of this guy, right? Mr. Abdul, Ultimate Shirk. Guys, Ultimate Shirk is a follower of this guy called Rashad Khalifa. This guy that you see here in front of you, he was killed by Sunni Muslims. He was killed by Sunni Muslims in the 90s. Do you see it? He died in America, in Arizona. This guy that you see here. So this ultimate shirk, he's a follower of this Rashad Khalifa, right? Now if we scroll, guys, pay attention. This guy was killed by Muslims, not by Christians, not by Jews. He was killed by Abduls like him. If we scroll, and see a little background about this guy. This guy was actually a very smart guy. He had a master degree in biochemistry, for example. Right? So he, had, he studied at the University of California. And he was actually married to an American woman. You see it? So this ultimate shirk, he's a follower of this guy. And he was a science advisor. Yes? Mr. Ultimate Shirk, you're following his science advisor who worked for the Libyan government 
for one year. You see it? And if we scroll back, now here comes the important source, right? This is your source that you use, right? Which you call doctrine. It's hot sauce. You know, have you, have you ever tasted hot sauce? So this is the hot sauce of Mr. Ultimate Shirk that he uses, which he calls doctrine. This is the taste. Khalifa said that he was a messenger of Allah. Uh oh, what? So ultimate shirk, 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 Mr. Ultimate Truth, Truth, Truth. You believe that Mr. Rashad Khalifa is the messenger of Allah? Last time I checked, only Muhammad is the last messenger. And he is the seal of all the prophets, right? He is the seal of the messengers of Allah. Whoops. Uh -oh. He is a messenger, but not a prophet. <laughs> and if we continue, guys, if we continue reading, you know what he says? You know what this Rashad Khalifa says, guys? He coined the phrase that the final testament in reference to the Quran, which his followers, like Mr. Ultimate Shirky, the followers of Rashad Khalifa, referring to him as God's messenger of the covenant. So there's a this Rashad Khalifa believes that there was a final testament for the Quran. And the Muslims who killed him, guys, the Sunni Muslims who killed him, they objected to his interpretation. And they killed him for it. Based on his claims that part of the Quran we fabricated. Oh man! Now we understand why he was killed. He said that parts of the Quran are fabricated. Boom! Mr. Ultimate Shirk, you donkey, you're not even a true Muslim. According to the majority of Sunni and Shia Islam. Oh boy! Yep. So, they are precluding him to nothing but a Quranist. Not only that, he claims that the Quran is fabricated on top of being a Quranist. Quran only, that's the meaning of Quran is, right? In his works, Khalifa claimed that the Quran contains a mathematical structure based on the number 19. You, rem you remember Shabir Ali? Guys, you remember Shabir Ali that we spanked in our last live show? That guy believes also in the number 19 and he loves to talk about it. So where do you think Shabir Ali got the idea from? From this Non-Muslim. Fake Muslim, man. Who claims to be the messenger of Allah after Muhammad. So Khalifa used computers <laughs> to analyze the frequency of letters. And I think if you watch Christian Prince live show, and I mentioned it also before, there's nothing called number 19. There's nothing called number 19. Right? It's a lie. If do, do, so use your search engine. And use the Arabic. Don't go to the English, right? Because the Quran was sent down in Arabic. So use the Arabic Quran and use the search engine. And you'll see there's nothing called magical number 19. So he, the guy was a liar. He's a fabricator, right? So, so he, he used a fake research of letters in the Quran. And we spanked him and, and Shabir Ali about it. So Khalifa's research did not receive much attention in the West, right? Because they, they knew this guy's a liar, he claims to be the messenger of Allah, right? Like uh, for the Ahmadiyya guys, have you heard of the Ahmadiyya? Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, another fake messenger who claims, the, <laughs> who claims to be a messenger of Allah. Liars, man. Like Muhammad, right? Muhammad, who is nothing but a fake prophet. You see it? And then he was killed. Assassination, do you see it? Muslims killed him. On January, unfortunately, we don't like to see anyone being killed. But you know, Muslims, they love blood. They are bloodthirsty. Anyone who attacks Islam will be killed. And Khalifa is not the last or the first person to die because he is considered to be a munafiq, a hypocrite like his follower, Ultimate Shirk the donkey, right? Anyway. So he was killed. He was, he was found stabbed to death. Oh man. And not inside the mosque. Oh man. You see how people, Muslims, don't care where they kill other Muslims. 
Yeah, his blood became halal. Exactly, Longinus. His blood became halal because you are allowed to kill a munafiq. You are allowed to kill a hypocrite Muslim, according to Islam. So he was stabbed multiple times. See it? So this is your uh, hero, Mr. Uh, Ultimate Shirk. You follow this guy. Huh? You follow this guy, right? <laughs> you see how easy it is, guys, to spank all these Islamic heroes. Filthy liar. Filthy liar. Huh? Liars, man. Liars. Do we have any Muslim? So, Mr. Ultimate Shirk, you're a fake Muslim, Abdul. If you go to Mecca, they will stab you to death, like your uh, fake messenger here. They will stab you to death in the heart of Mecca. If they know that you are a munafiq like Rashad Khalifa, they will even not allow you to enter Mecca if you want to do Hajj. They will kill you on the spot. They will kill you on the streets of Medina and Mecca, my friend. Mr. Ultimate Shirk. You're not even a Muslim, man. They will kill you. So guys, what can we do? Islam is deception. Islam is deception. They will deceive you. They will try to deceive you if you have no clue about Islam. Right? They will try English modern words to deceive you. That's the conclusion that we can take after today's lessons. Are there any uh, questions, guys, in the chat? Are there any questions from our beloved audience do you have any imam do you have any muslim who has the courage i mean when i go to discord guys they spam me with text right they all become keyboard jihadis when i go to discord why are you not calling me when i'm live you cowards you cowards Guys, um, <clears throat> let us wrap this up. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to download our videos. Download our videos. Cut the parts out that you like. Help me to help you. If you can save one Muslim guy who is nothing but a victim of this satanic cult, this man-made cult, help me to help you. Help one soul. And you know what the Bible says, right? If one Muslim... One soul can be saved, there will be a huge celebration in heaven, right? Guys, we are not doing this for ourselves. We are doing this for the truth. And who is the truth? It's Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. He said, and I quote, I am the truth, the way and life. No one enters the kingdom of my father if you don't accept my teaching. Please come back home to Jesus, Muslims. Today we prove to you that your Islamic heroes are liars. They are deceivers. Right? They are liars and they are deceivers. And when they get spanked, they come back and they make it even more worse. Right? They are making it even more worse. Filthy liars, man. And today we prove to you that they are actually making a huge disaster for Muhammad because when you're going to say it means praises that means Allah is the slave of Muhammad right and the proof is in front of you you cannot say Subhan Muhammad because Tasbih is only for Allah and Allah alone in Islam shame on you for lying you using deception guys don't forget to subscribe smash that like button also click on the notification bell to receive notifications when we upload videos or do another live show, Lord willing. God bless you. Thank you for your support. God bless you and your families. 
Thank you for watching. Jesus is Lord and Islam is nothing but a man-made cult. And the Islamic heroes get spanked left and right. Jesus is Lord and Muhammad is nothing but a fake prophet. Like Rashad Khalifa and others. Like Mirza Ghulam Ahmed. Like Joseph Smith. Thank you for watching and God bless.